Patrick, thanks. Time now to go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood. With us, as always, is Dax Holt. And uh, apparently, Dax, Mel Gibson has not been stripped of custody of his uh, youngest child. Yeah, Oksana went into court yesterday and uh, basically was fighting to get custody of uh, this child stripped away from Mel Gibson so he wouldn't be able to see the little girl uh, because she feels that he is dangerous, he's a violent person. Uh, but, and the judge said, mm, nope, sorry, Mel, you get to keep your custody. So I think he gets like uh, visitation throughout the week and one overnight. But uh, there's a lot of other things coming out in this whole case. It looks like Oksana allegedly demanded $10 million from Mel in regards to not releasing these audio tapes. Uh, before they went out, Mel's people are saying that they've got lots of evidence against this and a trail of, uh, you know, stuff that leads back to her asking for this $10 million. So it's going to get a little messy. Well, it certainly didn't hurt that his uh, soon-to-be ex-wife, Robin, you know, wrote a letter of support for him saying that she had never been abused by Mel, that she had never seen their children, and he's got a lot of children with his soon-to-be ex-wife, Robin, that they'd never been abused uh, verbally or physically by Mel, right? Yeah, this is a big deal because Robin's, a, you know, a really big person out here. She runs a lot of foundations. She makes, uh, like, millions of dollars for all these different charities. People really respect her words. So for her to be coming forward saying, look, I was married to Mel Gibson for 28 years. He never laid a hand on me. He never laid a hand on my children. Uh, I think that speaks volumes. And so she sat down, wrote a declaration uh, in front of Mel's lawyers and turned it in. So at least he's got her word backing him up right now. Just real quick, I wanted to ask you about Lindsay Lohan because she's uh, checked into a sober house. I don't know what that will do in just uh, a week's time before she has to turn herself over to the authorities to, to do her jail time. I don't know what that will actually do for her except maybe sway the judge. Is that what the plan is here? I think that's the plan. Robert Shapiro is her now new attorney, and uh, this is uh, he founded this uh, sober living house that she is now living in, and uh, I think it's a plea basically over to the judge, hey, look, she decided to go to rehab early. Uh, maybe you should just let her finish out rehab for the next 90 days or so, and uh, maybe push off that jail time or do minimal jail time so she can really focus on doing her rehab. Mm. I think that's what they're going at. I don't know if this judge is going to uh, buy that or not. Uh, it's worth a shot, I guess, and you know what? She's getting healthy, so why? Why not? Dax, as always, thanks so much. And you can catch TMZ TV right here on Fox Providence at 630. And for more information on any of the stories, just head to our website, foxprovidence.com. Pat?